plastic packing design. Tools and materials. Model 1, standing pouch. Cut plastic sheet into two parts or as needed. Take the top with both sides open. Make an inward fold on the side of the plastic. Press and trim the folds. Place the sides to be glued on top of the iron on the sealer. Press with the adhesive lever weight until the light is on. Lift the lever when the indicator light is off. Remove the plastic that has been glued slowly. Tidy up the inside of the standing pouch. Standing pouch ready to use. Enter processed food products to be packaged. Re-glue the top of the standing pouch. Products that have been packaged with standing pouches function as a primary and secondary packaging. Model 2, Gusset. Cut the plastic that is attached, so that the plastic sides are exposed, fold in the opposite direction so that the sides are in the middle. Bend into the center of the right and left sides. Press and trim the folds. Glue the plastic sides with sealer. Tidy up the parts that have been formed. Enter processed food products. Trim and glue the top side of the packaging. The products have been packaged with the gusset packaging model. Model 3, Central Seal. Open and widen the inside of the plastic. Form the folds and bring the two folds together. Smooth it out until it forms a crease, bend it back, and seal it with sealer. Trim the inside that has been formed. Enter processed food products with central seal packaging. Close and seal the top of the package with sealer. The products have been packaged into a central seal. Model 4, Triangle Pouch. Cut the plastic into sizes 8 cm x 13 cm. Fold into two equal parts, glue with sealer. Fold it back into two parts with the glued part in the middle. Glue one side with sealer. Widen the packaging into a triangular shape and put processed food products into it. Close and seal the top of the package with sealer. The products have been packaged in a triangle pouch.